Are you sniffing my plants? Are you giving Vicky little kisses? <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to the plant show. My name is Rose and that is Maggie, my cat. My other cat is asleep over there. He might peek his head out as well. In today's episode, I'm going to take you through two different garden centers near my house that I found some cool finds in, even though they're kind of normal local garden centers. But first... Maggie! Ah! She just threw off my favorite plants! No! No, Maggie! Oh no! Seriously? This is my new leaf on my monstera and Maggie broke it off because she fell down. Why? I could cry. <laughs> she tried to climb up on something that she's normally not climbing up on and she fell down right onto my heat mat with my favorite plants. So I was sitting there, Maggie was sitting there and decided to try and jump up all the way to there, hanging on for dear life for a moment and then falling down smack in the middle of my favorite alocasia, my little monstera baby, and my pink princesses. What the hell? And look at the mess we just cleaned the whole house yesterday. Bad cat. It's okay though, don't worry. She has literally nothing. Cheeky little cat. Hmm? You murdered my plant. What do you have to say for yourself? What do you have to say for yourself? I'm hungry. Okay. I have such bad luck with variegated monsteras. The first cutting died. And now this one. <laughs> okay, this is a very positive episode so far, you guys. I'm sorry. So this is Fairy, my monstera. Luckily, he just put out this new leaf, so she didn't break off the growth point. Just, just the one leaf that grew in my care and I love so much. I'm gonna have to frame this one. Okay, on with the show. <laughs> Fairy gets to stand behind me, be safe. So the question of the week is about the plastic baggie method once again. You guys keep having questions and this time it's, does it work for every plant? And I learned that no, it doesn't. Or you have to keep a better eye on it. I had my Elocasia Silver Dragon and Pink Dragon and Black Velvet in bags because they weren't doing very well after having pests. And um, if you've seen my Instagram, they rotted. Oh, this bulb, this is the um, Pink Dragon bulb. It's actually fully rotted now. When I squeeze it, it's gonna be disgusting. <laughs> There's goo coming out. It is on top of very wet moss right now, but it was already rotted before. So this is my silver dragon bulb. Can you see? Don't focus on my head. Focus on the bulb. No, it doesn't want to focus. But that completely got like mushy. And people have told me that the bulb is still savable, even though it does have zero roots. So I'm going to try. It is actually more solid. The other one is like squishy and gross. This one looks to be savable. And then the third one actually did look okay. This is the black velvet alocasia. And it actually has a new point of growth over there. Can you see? And it has some roots. It grew quite well in the moss. And I now have it sitting in water for a little bit. I think I'm going to put it in my mini terrarium that I'm gonna make. That's gonna be a video probably for next week if I can get it edited and stuff. But yeah, this is the only plant, plant of the three that has survived so far. So I would say some don't like the humidity that much or you need to open it up more. So hopefully that answers your questions. I'm still looking at this broken off leaf and it's very sad. I'm gonna hold it here and wear it. 
let's, I guess, start with the garden center tours. I went to two different ones, so let's have a look. We started off at Garden Centrum de Mooi in Rheinsburg, which is one of my favorites in the area near my house. I love this little house setup where they keep a lot of their hanging plants and macrame hangers as well. Here is a Hoya. It looks really nice with the splash on it. And it is called Hoya Gracilis Memoria, 12 euro 50. It's pretty big. I like the size of the plants that they have here as well. Look. Pretty cool. And then these cute succulents, Crassula Hottentot, which are also 12 euro 50. And then on the top here, I'm moving a bit fast, sorry about that. A lot of hanging plants. Over here, some more of the Hoya. Sorry, wasn't paying attention too much to the moving fast on this one. And the Peperomia Hope, which I always really like. 15 euros for this pot with really, really long strands. And a Monsteras Peperu or Carstenianum, always labeled wrong. There we go, a Peperinum Pinatum for 11 euros. It's not, but that's okay. Some really, really long string of pearls. Sunisha Rolianus for 17 euros. And over here, some kind of anthurium, actually. I don't know exactly what it is, but it looks like a jungle king or something. We see more and more strange anthurium in these garden centers. Look at those roots, though. They're so thick. And a beautiful new leaf. That looks so funky, those roots. Some Alocasia zebrina, pretty big pot, pretty mature plant. This one is 50 euros with two points of growth. And then this one says Monstera deliciosa, 60 euros. But look, that's not a deliciosa. That's a Raphidophora tetrasperma. And the pot is insanely big. I had to switch to wide angle to even get it in the shot. Here are some Mosaica Calithia. I absolutely love the pattern on these leaves. Can't believe nature creates stuff like that. 20 euros for this big pot. And then this smaller pot, still pretty big, is 9 euro 50. Had to take some selfies with these babes. Here's a Magic Star that's also really big. This one was 25 euros. And then there's a whole forest of Orbifolia that are just stunning and big and beautiful. These were 16 euros with leaves really, really big compared to my hand. Some Rufa Barba, some white pin stripey ones. I think Calathea Ornata, right? And the pink ones as well. And here they're actually called Calathea Majestica White Star and they are 20 euros. Then some silver swords, some Philodendron Hostatums. These are always such full pots. It's pretty insane. And these were 20 euros for, I don't know how many stems even. You can't even count them. There's so many. Really cool to see these in all the garden centers now. Ooh, that leaf is stuck. Tempting. Some very colorful Aglionema. I love the bright colors, but somehow Aglionema don't appeal to me as much. I didn't check the price. Sorry about that. Here is a big, big, hairy Ripsalis. Mm. Whoa, that's heavy. This was 28 euros for this insanely big pot. There are quite a few different ones here, actually, with some really cool different looking leaves. The smaller one was 13 euros with the more flatter leaves. And then this huge one with really, really flat leaves. Let me see. 28 euros as well. And it's actually growing upwards, which I thought was interesting. Then we found some watermelon peperomia. And they look pretty good. I couldn't find a price on them. Though I love that little baby leaf in there. <laughs> Checking another one to find a price. But then I saw the sign that says 2 for 15 euros. These cool looking begonias were 5 euros each. I love the colors on this one. It's called Magic Colors Fedor. And then look at those red abaxials, the backs of the leaves and the red stems, the petioles. So hairy, so cute. I love it. Then some really weird looking anthuriums. They kind of looked black, but they are normal. Oh, black epic, they're called, 20 euros. 
They look like the normal traditional anthuriums with the inflorescences on them and the shiny leaves. Just the new leaves were very blackish looking. It doesn't really come off on camera as much as they were. Pretty cool. Some Peperomia angulata, which I still love. The details on the leaves and the different colors of the newer leaves. Beautiful. And then some more Ripsalis, more smaller kinds. I especially like the look of all of these new leaves coming out. Looked so funky. Six euros. Look at them, they're like yellow. And there were a lot of different kinds here that were all very pretty. Ooh, again, moving really fast. Sorry about that. My boyfriend actually just got a gimbal for our phones for his birthday. So I'm hoping to borrow that so that I'll make sure that I'll move a lot slower and you'll be able to see everything properly. So bear with me. You know I always love the mini plant section. These are three for five euros and they include the mini Calathea networks. How cool is that? Look at all the new tubes coming out with new leaves, new growth points. And some trio stars. Very pretty. And Rufa Barba, Calathea. And then over here, some of the strings something. Pepper spots. Yes, that's it. Peperomia pepper spot. They were almost growing into the other pots. They were very happy here. Some Fitonia. And then over to the cactus section. Here are some really, really big cacti. Look at those fat ones. <laughs> that fat one on the right. And then different opuntias and euphorbias and that zigzag cactus, epiphyllum anguliger or disocactus anguliger. Look at all that new growth. That's so adorable. And then this different looking, I think it's a peperomia. It looks more variegated than not. So it's like whiter leaves with green spots on it. There is no name, of course, because it's the mini plant section. I always forget and check anyway. Some Fitonia, some flowering succulents. That is just the cutest thing ever. I love the colors of these, so pastel and pretty. And then with the yellow flowers. And then over here, some different Diefenbachia. These were quite small and four euros, which is nice because I normally only see the really big ones. Different looking leaves. Diefenbachia Vesuvius, nine euros. It looks really cool. And then these ones, you see them more often. I like that one as well. What is that called? Let's see. Diefenbachia Mars, 25 euros. It looks a little bit like the reflector, but not velvety. And then this very, very strange Peperomia that didn't have a name. Its leaves were folded up, but apparently it's supposed to be that way. It was 13 euros and it just was the weirdest thing. Another Apepernum Panatum. <laughs> which is actually a Peperonym Aureum Neon for 10 euros. And some different Crassulas for 13 euros. Crassula variegata something, I think. Don't know exactly. And the Hottentots again. I think they're the Hottentots. I'm not quite sure now. And look what I found. A piece of Peperomia prostrata that they weren't even selling at that time. And I got to take it as a cutting. There were a few nice plants at the Moy, but I decided to also go to this other garden center, the Iver, which I love and where we bought lots of our garden plants. So let's go have a look here as well. So the first plant I saw was this really cute Peperomia, which I thought was called Caparata, but here it's actually called Shumi Red. Maybe the other colors are Caparata, I'm not quite sure. Here are the succulents, lots of different kinds. Again, sorry about moving a little bit fast. These are four euros each. Kind of like that one in the back. Some Peperomia angulata. No price rose because it was all for four euros. And the Peperomia, I thought it was Robella, but they call it differently here with the red backs. Verticulata, I think they call it here. Some Begonia maculata. Really tall ones, actually. Mine looks very different from this, much more bushy. Some Diefenbachia, different colors. Let's see the price. Nope, no price. Oh yes, 10 euros. 
And these really, really big jungle boogies or philodendron narrow, they are sometimes called. They were so mature. They had a lot of growths um, and a lot of inflorescences as well. And there were quite a few of them. Really cool. And then over to the philodendron hostatums, the silver swords. These were a little bit smaller than the other shop, I think, and they're not on a pole climbing, and they were 15 euros, but there's still so many stems in there, and they're really chunky. They're actually on, like, little bamboo poles rather than a moss pole. And lots of new growth. This looks like philodendron imperial red. I love the colors of the new leaves. I couldn't find the name on the label, but they were 15 euros. And then this shop is actually the place where I first ever saw jewel orchids in real life. These are Ludicia discolor and they're flowering. They're almost done flowering actually. The leaves are this like green dark velvet with very bright white and pink lines. They're quite pretty and the new growth in the bottom of the pot there is just so adorable. Really, really cute. Happy face. Over to the cacti section. This first one I liked a lot because it didn't have any spikes. It's Euphorbia Mauritania for 18 euro 50. Well, it had mini spikes, I guess, but looked very funky. Lots of the small ones. Again, moving a little bit fast with the camera. I'm sorry, I'm working on it. This one looked really cool as well, ignoring the spider webs on the top there. And then I found more of these. They were 8 euros here. Peperomia watermelon or Argreia. Some different succulents, more angulatas. These were all seven euros. And the Sarian, the Alocasia hybrid that I really, really like the look of. They often have them here in this garden center. They're pretty big, two points of growth. What's the price? 17 euros. And look how tall that is. It's really, really big. I would love a small one of these, actually. I don't know why they don't make them or sell them. They probably make them, but... Some <laughs> Lauterbachiana with new leaves unfolding. Don't touch it, Rose. Don't touch the new leaves. And then look what I found. This is one of those philodendron jungle bo boogie or philodendron narrow. But look at this leaf over here. It's variegated. Check that out, how pretty is that? Of course, I had to investigate a little further. There is this one leaf. I did not see any variegation in the stem or in any other points of growth. This new leaf is just beautifully light. I had to discover in there. It was a lot of different points of growth, so it was hard to see, but for sure it was only one leaf and not more than that. But I thought it was still really, really cool to find in a regular garden center for 15 euros or so. And look at the big leaf, whoa. And some inflows. They're very beautiful with the like peachy pink flower inflorescence. And there are several, so maybe they'll get little seed babies. Then here I found some hidden trio stars that were really behind all the other plants. Let's see, these were six euros. That's really cheap. That looks really nice too. And then lots and lots of string of pearls for seven euros. These pots look really full. I've never tried them and I would actually love to try them. I'm just afraid that they're not gonna survive in my care. And I'd love to try the really round one, like the little circles. Over here, some Alocasia stingrays with one point of growth. These were eight euros. I still don't like them. I'm sorry. They look weird. And some 15 euro big pots of mm, Raphidophora tetrasperma, some more silver swords, and Dracaena, Maculata. Over here, more ferns, Asplenniums, and Dracaenas. And over here, the Marantha tricolor or Marantha fascinator tricolor. I own this plant and I love it. The leaves are kind of velvet, the newer leaves are lighter green, and then they get these pink lines in them. These are four euros. Can you believe it? That's so cheap. And they're so pretty! Mine isn't this pretty, but I had it in recovery for a while because I had pests. So I'm forgiving it. I'm giving it another chance. Look at all those different colors. That's just stunning. I love it. 
And then these adorable um, tricolor Tradescantia, which are also, wait, where's the price? Four euros. And I love the different lines, like the little green line in the center, and then that half leaf, and a whole white and a whole green. The combinations are beautiful. I love it. And then over here, lots of Fitonia different colors. I've actually, I might need to buy some of these for my future terrarium. Woo! And some Sansevieria with a broken stemmy thing. Lots of different kinds. Minis, big ones. And then over here, some Scandapsis Pictus. Scandapsis Pictus, yes. That looks a little bit thirsty, but that's okay. It's on a pole and it's 15 euros. It's a pretty big pot. I never know what kind this is, but it, I liked that the leaves had silver lines all along the edges, which was really pretty, like this little leaf over here. And that's it already for the garden center tours. What do you think? Did you like it? Let me know in the comments below. Before you go, the shout out of this week goes to Tropical Plant Party. This guy has quite a lot of followers on YouTube already, and I normally like to pick smaller channels, but I've been watching all of his Terrarium Tuesday videos in preparation of my own terrariums that I'm gonna be making. And I think he's very underrated. I love his videos and the content is really good. He seems to know a lot about plants and everything. He does so much research. I'm learning a lot from just watching those videos. So that's really cool. I love learning about plants. I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know below what plants you liked in those garden centers. And if you have a preference between the two garden centers. Hmm, interesting. Thank you so much for watching. Send me some RIPs for this beautiful leaf. And I'll see you next week. Bye. My Monstera leaf and I are going to go back to editing. Sitting underneath the sofa, leaning onto the sofa, which is super comfortable.